Today I'm actually gonna be showing you guys around our backyard basically where we are growing and harvesting our food. We have two main sections, one on the right and then one on the far left. Basically what we've been growing are pumpkins, um, cucumbers, tomatoes, peppers, beets. I believe we have some onions. I'm not really sure, but we've been growing quite a lot of food. It's been going really well. One of our pumpkins is already super big and I'm just so happy to be able to do this in the city. It's really, really cool how with a small piece of dirt or land or whatever you guys want to call it, we basically have two raised beds that we put in last year. We basically started growing food last year already, but there were a bunch of trees behind me right here. So we got those out this year and since then we've been growing a lot a lot of food and it's been really good let's just get going So to give you guys a small tour of the backyard, this is basically where we are growing our food right over there. That's our main plot and our main area to be growing the main food. And then right over there, we are mainly growing like tomatoes and some cucumbers. This is the main main. Say hello, Sefa. Hi. Um, so as you guys can see, this is like kind of getting a bit out of hand. I actually had to cut right there and then right there as well. And right here is the huge huge pumpkin like it's actually insane guys i think this has been growing for about like a few weeks as you guys can see it's really difficult to know what kind of vegetables are growing in what type of areas but right here i believe we've got some um what courgette, courgette that's true right here we've got some courgette that is growing it's not and coming out right now and as you see here you can see the tomatoes coming out. tomatoes yeah. oh yeah right here awesome man oh, and good what, job and some over there yeah so we've got some tomatoes growing over here as well oh, there know. is actually a nice big fat courgette right there oh we actually have a second one over here so we've got quite a few things and i think i believe onions are right over there and oh guys if you see one just fell and now it's all bad. Really? Yeah. Well, you're gonna have to give that to mom, okay? Yeah. But man, I'm just so excited to be harvesting this bad boy. And then we've got a second one that's growing really nicely over here as well. Uh, it's not that big from now, because that one was like yellow from like down, and now it's orange, and now this one is gonna be orange too. That's true. Very good, very good, Seth. Do you also know where the other ones are growing? We've got two uh, more. Yeah. So one is growing a seed. It's going to come out. That's true, that's true. And if you come here, there is one over here, one over yeah. here, <laughs> and one is hiding right over there, and one is hiding right over there. Yeah. There's still more. But there's one right over there, as you guys can see right there so there's one right on that all the way yeah, over there right. and guys there is one right below that yep right there i believe oh yeah right here this one is just coming out so it will probably be taking like another four to five weeks i believe honestly guys i'm not really a big expert on growing any food i just got into this i've been looking at a lot of videos like justin rhodes all those type of people who mainly do livestock and that's what i want to get into but of course because i'm living in a city i can't really do any livestock if you guys are new to the channel be sure to subscribe because my friend daniel actually has some property up in beamsville and he's got some chickens both meat birds and egg layers so i will be going there pretty soon and then we'll be able to you know get some footage over there so if you guys want to see that be sure to subscribe right now yeah man like honestly what like this video like the video as well <laughs> very good so very good so yeah guys this is like our main area where we grow most of our food oh and you come right over here so if you go here you can <laughs> see that some plants are sticking out oh are you okay Seth? Yeah. so what some are what some are sticking out oh yeah it's kind of getting out of hand the way it's growing 
because it's coming out over here so it's going basically around the fence over there which is kind of crazy right here there's actually a bit of salad where our plants are and like that's guys, i think that's just pretty this funny this is gonna be our lamborghini when we go there oh really sip yeah. how much is it three thousand wow that's actually pretty cheap for a lambo eh? so right over here we've got and the sun was shining in my eye but the same so we have some peppers growing over here yeah. And big ones growing over here. Those ones we're gonna be harvesting, right, Seth? Yeah. We've got some beans over here. Some dirt, cause <laughs> my mom has some dirt. More peppers. peppers. And we have a bunch of tomatoes. Bunch of tomatoes, eh? Yeah, I see one red one right over there. Oh, that one's coming out real nice. And look, right over here, Seth, in the back we've got a cucumber. Let me just find it over here, boys. This one's actually oh. I th I'm pretty sure this one will be able to get harvested today as well. These are also the ones we took off because they're yeah. ready to to get to get good because these are bad ones. All right, so you gotta cut it right here, okay? Here we go. Oh, that's hard. Very good. <laughs> and now this one. Very good. Now we've got some beans. Oh, there's a little bit over there. Yeah, no. But oh, and if you see, there's some food. That's true. Okay, come. Hi, guys. So, we got these peppers uh, that we took off. And they're gonna, we're going to cook these so then we can <laughs> eat them. And they're going to be from our garden. Do you like peppers? No. No? No. Why not? Because. <laughs> All right. We've got a beat. Who's that guy? What? what are you doing, man? Uh, no, just relaxing. You're so weird. My helper left me. I actually have to do some work on my own this time, which is kind of difficult. No, I'm joking. As you guys can see, the result is incredible. You don't even need a lot of land. You can just have some raised beds. Grow whatever type of fruit or vegetables you would like. And this would be a good size for like if it's just you and your partner or even you and like a child or two of course because we are a family of seven it's very good like we are getting like i would say 15 to 20 percent of our vegetables if you guys want to do it i would really recommend starting it you can just put as i said a, a small raised bed into your garden as long as you take care of it putting good soil into it at first and then watering it every single day i believe my mom waters it every morning and evening but as you guys can see the result is amazing guys like honestly it really is and it tastes 10 times better than the vegetables that you get in the store so hey should i start it i would definitely say a hundred percent yes because the result is there and if you if you really want to save money start this smaller homestead life in the city it's a great way to put your foot into the homestead life as a beginner of course as you guys can see i am still a beginner i don't know a lot about how to grow perfect vegetables um, for the summer or winter time mainly my mom is taking care of this but i have a really really big interest in the homestead life so i am helping out my mom with all of these things. This is amazing. And right here, we've got the results. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe to the VDB Farm channel because a lot more awesome content will be coming such as harvesting day and I'm thinking of making a video where I go in depth on how we actually planted all the vegetables and the amount of vegetables that we planted so if you want to see that be sure to subscribe again and honestly thank you so much for the very first viewer subscribers hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next one peace thought I jumped in no ah! oh, it's so cold